Another plugin for creating maps or displaying maps in your WordPress website is the WP Google Maps plugin. It is by WPG Maps Nick Duncan and a few other individuals. And I have to be honest with you, this is a plugin which I'm a little bit divided on because while it is a fantastic plugin, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic plugin. I believe that its main strength, which is the amount of features available with the plugin, is also its weakest point. Because it's very easy for a plugin to have all these features and the plugin offering you so much flexibility that it becomes too much and you become quite overwhelmed with what you can do with the plugin. Essentially, this plugin allows you to create custom Google Maps. So if you're interested in being able to create your own Google Maps, this is the plugin for you. However, if you're much more interested in just having simple maps provided to you by Google, you might be better off using another plugin instead. All right, let's take a look at how we can use the plugin. When you install and activate the plugin, you'll first of all have to have, add your API key in here. You can click on this link right there to create your API key. I've already gotten mine, so I'm going to paste it in here, save my key, and now I have access to the settings for the maps. We could disable any of the general map settings in here if we don't want to make use of them. You have troubleshooting options in here. If for some reason your map isn't displaying the way it's supposed to be or you're having any other issues, you can come in here and override the current jQuery with version 1.1, 1.3. But then again, this should be for advanced users. So I'll be careful whenever you're making any changes to the troubleshooting options. Uh, in here, if your theme that you're using already loads the Google Maps API, then you can come in here and click yes so that your plugin won't have to load the API as well. That can create a clash. We have the version of API here set to 3.25. You could use 0.26 or the final option in here if you want to. Uh, you could set the lowest level of access to the map editor from admin to any other role if you want other roles beneath that of the admin to have access to the Google Maps creator. Uh, you could enable usage tracking where the developers of the plugin will be able to track how you're using the plugin and in exchange <laughs> they'll send you a 50% solar plugins coupon as a token of their gratitude if you're interested. And finally we can disable the two finger pen which will have removed the need to use two fingers whenever a user is trying to access a map or move a map on a mobile device. Let's save this. Let's go on to our info windows. We can open a marker info windows by click or hover. We'll talk about this a bit later. The marker listing unfortunately are only available with the pro version of the plugin. You have your advanced tab in here where you can change your API key if you need to. You could also add your custom CSS in here as well. And for the error log, if you are generating any errors, this is typically where you would find the errors and then you can email them to a nick at wpgmaps.com. Okay, save settings and we're done with the general settings for the Google Map plugin. Now let's go to maps. All right. In here, we already have a map that's been generated for us automatically by the plugin. It's called my first map. You can see we have the short code in there, we have the type which is a roadmap, the height and width already set. Let's go ahead and hit edit. Alright, so first things first we have our general settings, we have our short code in here. You can change the map name to something else if you want. Change the width height, change the zoom level as well. Uh, you could also change the map alignment and change the map type as well to hybrid maybe, which <laughs> I kind of like hybrid but uh, I prefer roadmap. I think roadmap is actually better than hybrid in my opinion. Let's just stick with the roadmap. All right, let's save the map. Now in here we have our themes where you can choose the different types. Uh, we have, I'm not even sure what these ones are called. I guess it's just by the, uh, the color that you can tell. This is a bit grayish. This is more like green. You have red. Uh, let's just stick with the very blue theme. Stick with that. Or you could also paste a custom theme. If you have the code, you can simply paste it inside this box if you if you want to. Uh, let's save our map. Alright, so we've set general settings. We've gotten our themes. 
Now for directions, unfortunately, this is only available with the Pro version where you can enable uh, driving directions and things like that. We do have a store locator though, and a store locator will basically show a map of your location and then let your visitors find the store or business nearest to them by entering in the address and then selecting a radius or distance uh, from them. That's basically how uh, the store locator works. They do have a documentation in here which you can read more uh, about. So you can see basically this is uh, it in here. You can read more on how to set up your store locator if you want to. All right, we have the advanced settings. You could enable the bicycle layer. Uh, you can enable a traffic layer and a transport layer as well. And in all honesty, uh, before I even started using this plugin, I had no idea what all these layers actually meant, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but we'll see them in just a minute. So we've enabled all these. You can also set your maximum zoom level from 1 to something smaller, 12, 13, what have you. All right, let me just go ahead and uh, save the map again. We have our marker list, listen options, which are unfortunately only available with the pro version of the plugin, but you can see the kinds of markers that you can use rather than the default uh, pin marker that you have. Let's now come down here to where we have our marker. By default, it's been set to California. This is the default marker that was created for us. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this marker since we don't need that. Let's now add a marker for our new address, which I'm just going to copy here. It's the White House address. Let me go ahead and paste that in here. All right, so we have a marker. This is our address. Now we can choose an animation between bounce and drop. Let's go with bounce. Our info window open by default. Uh, let's do yes. Let's go ahead now and add a marker. Okay, so now you can see we have our marker right there with the bounce animation. That's the address. Cool. Let's save our map. All right, cool. We've saved the map. Now I am going to change the zoom level. Let's zoom a bit more inside. Okay, let's zoom just a little bit further. Okay, I think this is this is perfect. That's fine. Let's save the map again. All right, cool. Now, in here where we have markers, you have advanced markers. Let me click in there, which unfortunately is only available with the Pro version, but you can add different kinds of markers with a, a pick URL, a link URL, and even a custom marker as well. We have a polygon, and just to give you an idea of what a polygon is, let me drag that in here. This is what we call a polygon. So if you wanted to create some sort of uh, map highlighting three different locations, like in this case we have Miami, we have Bermuda, and then British Virgin Islands, uh, you could do so with the use of a polygon. And this would be where you would add a new polygon. Clicking in there, you would add your data in here, add your a few other options in here available as well. In all honesty, <laughs> I have personally never used a polygon before. Uh, let me cancel this. There is also something else called uh, where, is, where are we? Uh, polylines as well. If I bring this back in here, let me give you an example of what the polyline is. Uh, we have polylines which look like this. They're kind of like red lines that run from one distance to the other. If you're interested in creating such a thing for your map, you can also do the same thing in here as well. You click on add a new polyline and then you will have to go ahead and add the data in here. Let's cancel that. And we have heat maps, which unfortunately are only available with the pro version of the plugin. So these are essentially the kinds of things that you can create using this Google Maps uh, plugin. So let's go ahead now and try to see how we can display our map. We have a short code in here, as you can see. So I can copy this short code. Let's now go to a page. Let's add a new page. And let's just say uh, Google Maps uh, location. I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Let's publish the page. And now let's view the page. And there you go. We have our Google Maps location, as you can see, with the bouncing. Uh, effect of the of the marker. Cool. We can also display the map in our sidebar. Let's go down to appearance, come down here to widgets, 
and you will see the uh, WP Google Maps widget in here. Let's drag that just beneath the Easy Profile widget. And from here, you can choose the map, which of course has already been chosen for us. Let's just save that, see how this looks like. Let's go to, let's refresh this page here. Oh, actually, let's go to our blog instead. I think that's where we have the the sidebar. Okay, the homepage has the sidebar here, and you can see we have uh, the Google Maps uh, widget showing up in here as well. Awesome. All right, before I go, let me just demonstrate to you how the store locator would work. Let's go back to uh, Maps. Let's edit. We have a store locator in here. All right, so we can enable the store locator and you can restrict it to a certain country. Let's go with the United States. You can show the distance in miles. So you can change the query string. The default is zip code and address. You can change that to whatever you want. We have a default address in here that you can set it to. Uh, in this case, let's just go with uh, 10019. This is just the default address in here. Let's uh, save the map. And now let's see how this would look like. If we go back to our sidebar, let's refresh the page. Now in here, you can see that people can come in here and now type their address specifically and then search within a radius of uh, one mile to 300 miles to see how far or close they are to this specific location. That's how it would work. It would also show up in the page that we just created. Let's go back to the page. Google Maps location, let's view the page. And now you can see it also displayed in here as well. So that's how you would use the store locator with the plugin. So that's it for the WP Google Maps plugin. I know it is a bit overwhelming. The amount of options available are a lot, they're very extensive, and you have a lot of creativity and flexibility uh, to create the kind of map you want. Unfortunately though, that can be a downside. So it really depends on you what it is that you're looking for. If you're looking for a more flexible plugin with features, this is the this is definitely the plugin for you. If you're looking for something simpler, then I would recommend that you use another plugin instead. So that's it for the WP Google Maps plugin. Thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next class.